Okay, guys, let's take a look at this pot of green beans and white potatoes, Southern style. Okay, and in our Dutch oven pot, enamel, you know, enamel, whatever. Okay. Everybody doing today good because we're back with another exciting video you guys today you guys well anyway how's everybody doing today good as you see I have put out the gift that I received from Granby thank you Granby you know who you are I don't want to give you cool name but anywho she's a bigger supporter and she's also family thank you so much for this Dutch oven uh, Dutch, I'm gonna call it a crock pot, but Dutch oven pot. You guys, I always wanted me one. She granted me one, and I appreciate that. So what we're gonna do today, you guys, is we're gonna go on here and we're gonna make us some southern green beans, you guys. And we got us some ox, and not ox tails, turkey tails, you guys. Um, I already washed these and got them ready for the the pot. Because we want us some good old uh, uh, turkey tails with our green beans. So we're just going to put these turkey tails in this boiling water. You guys. We're gonna put, and we're going to let that boil some so the turkey tails can get that juice and that flavor all up in there. And yeah, we're going to have us some Idaho potatoes that I'm going to peel. And we got us some fresh picked green beans. Yes. Yeah, you want to see it again? Yeah, the fresh picked green beans. We just snapped the ends off. And that's what we're doing today, you guys. So if you have any suggestions what I can cook in this Dutch oven pot, please leave it in the comments below. But meantime, thank you for all my new riders, all my supporters that ride with me. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And if you can find the time to thumbs this video up, Share this video with any everyone. I definitely will uh, really appreciate it. So meantime, we're going to let this cook and do its thing. And we're going to add the other ingredients. So don't go nowhere. Okay, guys. So we have been letting it boil. And look at all of that juice and that goodness in there. Now my second step is I'm going to add some of my special blend seasoning. Now, I did have the question of what was in the seasoning, so I'm going to run through it a little bit. I have uh, green seasoning. I have crushed peppers. Um, and I only want just a little because I don't want to make it too seasoned because I want to, you know, go behind myself. But crushed peppers, um, I just basically have a house of seasonings. Anything that pretty much that does not pertain to salt. Okay, garlic, uh, garlic powder is in there. Um, onion chips is in there. Um, I'm trying to think, you guys. Crushed peppers, parsley, um, Kingsford. Seasoning is in there, and when it came to the Kingsford, I use very little. Um, I like a variety of Kingsford seasonings for my food, so it's kind of like a mix with dash seasoning. It's just your kitchen cabinet seasoning. I prefer not to put table salt or you know, um, sea salt, that's definitely is not in this seasoning. Because you don't need all of that salt, you know. At least I don't when, I, when it comes to the seasoning. Okay, guys, let's take a look. Oh, my goodness. Yes, okay. So I'm going to sit my top behind me. Now, look at this. 
your turkey tails, and your seasoning. And I'm gonna go ahead and submerge my potatoes in first. You guys, let me pour the water off of them. And we're just gonna put them in just like so. And we're gonna put our green beans in here. I am so glad I got one pack. And I like to keep my green beans long you know I don't know which one you guys prefer but I will eat green beans out of the can once I rinse them but I prefer uh, fresh cut green beans and at this point you can actually add onions um because I have saw people put onions in it and I have done it as well but I'm going to bring my meat up to surface so them green beans can get down in there as much as possible. But anywho, now what I like, let me tell you guys what I like about this Dutch pot. This Dutch pot holds in all the juices and the flavors. When I tell you from boiling to... Uh, you know the boiling process and you know I, I haven't put it in the oven yet but you know our pots have a tendency of steam going around it with this Dutch I notice it does not have that I guess because of the cast iron that sits on this black panel and right here and yeah don't forget to oil that before you you know cook it you know and you can put it in the oven Oil it, put it in the oven for approximately an hour, and you're ready to cook, okay? You may have to wash some of the soot off, but you're ready to cook. But meantime, this right here, I cannot wait to cook some greens in it, and I hope you guys come in and, and you know, enjoy the video. Because this is your girl, one item she always wanted in her kitchen, and God has blessed me with it, thanks to... Um, one of my supporters, a family member, uh, Granby. I really appreciate that. And yeah, so you guys, when I tell you best gift ever as your toy in the kitchen, oh my goodness, I could not ask for a better gift. Okay, so over here, I just have some turkey tails boiling because I like extra turkey tails just to nibble on call me crazy okay but like I say you guys I watch what I eat and so far I am doing good you know I just don't like to weigh in is that sad but anywho you guys will see when this pot has made a delicious green bean pot meal so guys we just gonna take a look at this oh yeah We're just going to let this go on here because we didn't cook the on down. Mm, mm, mm. You guys, if you could smell the aroma. Oh my goodness, this is so amazing. And what, like I say, what I like about it is the fact that you know how I feel about my brand. That it locks in the heat. 
It locks in the heat and I love it. Okay guys, let's take a look at this pot of green beans and white potatoes. Southern style. Okay. And in our Dutch oven pot. Enamel. You know, enamel. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> okay, don't judge me, okay? But yeah. These are pretty much they are done. Cause there go your potatoes right there. Nice pork tender. Mm-hmm. Got turkey. Ooh, that was very hot. We got our turkey. Right there, tender. I just didn't break them up. Because I wanted to keep them well together. But you can always, you know, break them up. Just like so. Okay. That got a bone right there. But anywho, you get the idea. Okay. You can always break it up. And there you have it. A good southern pot of green beans and white potatoes. Cooked in my Dutch oven for the first time. I hope you enjoyed this video. And like I say, you guys, you can always add extra, such as your onions. Some people like bell peppers or sweet peppers in it. And throw it in there and, hey, you got yourself a nice meal. These are seasoned well. Always use your black pepper. Salt is optional. Depends on your health. But this is definitely a pot of goodness. Healthy eating. As long as you don't add the extras, you know what I mean? But we're going to get ready to close this video straight out. And we're going to say I'll see you guys on the next video. Sending much love from my house to yours. Bye-bye.